Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion Season 1, Episode 2, You Like Me. You really like me. So, this episode piggybacks off of the, that of the first episode, and we have um, the Black Scorpion teaching Ultraviolet. And so, I really like how she's flawed, like she's not perfect, you know? Um, when he tries to teach her basic moves of like wrestling and stuff like that, like jumping over a rope, she thinks she can do it because she has super speed and everything, but she realizes she can't. And she gets like tangled up in the ropes and spins out of control and basically just like falls out. And so like the thing about her is that she's very impulsive and reckless. And he tells her that she's very impulsive. And what's interesting is that Impulse is a speedster from DC Comics. So, you know, <laughs> I like the little Easter egg references and stuff. And so, just like with last time, we see her with her family. And with her family, we see once again, they favor the son over that of her. They favor Santiago. So, as they're about to eat... She is, of course, you know, because she live streams everything she does when she's in her superhero costume. You know about that. It's kind of like this. If you're a superhero and there are bad guys out there and you live stream everything, how is it they haven't tracked her cell phone yet? Or how is it that, like, because she keeps saying, oh, I'm going to be here, I'm going to be there, I'm going to do this for, like, this signing thing, and it's kind of like, how do they not just show up and try to stop her? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm curious, because it's kind of like, this is still very much a kid-friendly show. It has slight, just slight edge to it. I wish it had a little bit more edge. I wish they would, like, really up the stakes and show her why um it takes time and practice and everything because they do that in this episode like she learns a valuable lesson in this episode but it's still in a somewhat kid-friendly kind of way and i kind of want them to like push that ante kind of like secrets of sulfur springs you know and so um back to like that of her brother so she's looking at all her likes and all her views and her dad and tell her you know no cell phone at the table but then here comes her brother with his cell phone. And she's all like, well, what about him? And they literally just don't see up, but just shrug their shoulders and stuff. And it's really messed up how they favor him and not her. Because he's the overachiever, you know? And he's talking um, about some song of his that went viral. Now, her brother, the actor, has a great singing voice. Boy, you know Disney's going to exploit that. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff because they love having their stars act and sing so anyways at some point her uncle shows up for dinner and this is taking the family by surprise that he hasn't shown up in a very long time because since he does the superhero thing he kind of avoids his family it takes up his time and plus you know he doesn't want nobody to try to like follow him and make the correlation that he is Black Scorpion and follow him to his family house, stuff like that, you know. But then we kind of see a little bit of a rift in their family where the uncle or the dads to the uncles are like, oh, you come here to borrow food or something like that. So it's kind of like, hmm, what's really going on, you know. Now the mother, she looks and sounds like this one cook from PBS Create called Patty. From Patty's Mexican table. She looks and sounds just like her and her sister. I wonder if they're related. I wonder. Because they just sound and look too similar. So. At this point in time. Violet is getting fed up with this whole training. She's been training for two weeks. And she's tired of it. She wants to fight bad guys. But her uncle is telling her. You know. You have to learn. You have to practice your craft. You just can't go into a situation thinking you can like super speed your way through and everything. And so she gets more um, impulsive when she talks to that her friend Maya. I'm still getting those LGBT vibes from both of them. They constantly keep telling each other they love each other. Like, oh, I love you. And she's like, oh, I love that you love me and everything. And I, I love your ideas and everything. I'm just like, 
Hmm. Now I gotta say with Maya, she's a cool best friend. And I love like, how she puts her hair in different designs in like every episode and stuff. Actually, not even just every episode. It's like every scene, her hair is different and stuff. And I love that. You know how I love good hair. <laughs> and so while last week's or not last week i should say because technically disney dropped both the episodes in the same night that's something disney likes to do i remember back in the day when i used to watch disney channel and when i was in college they would drop uh, like four episodes in only one night of a brand new show i remember kim possible man i'm over here expecting just to see like one episode there was at least three or four in that same night i'm like woohoo <laughs> and stuff and so she decides she's gonna fight crime on her own because she literally tells her uncle you know i'm gonna be fighting some bad guys but you come with me or not and everything and so she's with her friend she takes her friend out on her super um hero like you know um adventures and stuff so she can record her which is very dangerous because her friend has like no protection so she stops a couple of bad guys like looting something but then some somehow one of them gets the drop on her and um he has like a saw for a hand of all things i'm like whoa she's getting some super villains now so as he's literally about to take her out and stuff her uncle shows up as black scorpion and takes care of him and then he reprimands her and talking about like like you know i don't know why the mask chose you um and everything and all this other stuff he just pretty much shouts at her and you know there's like and so she gets so upset that she takes her mask off as she's walking with her friend and she throws it in the um um what is it like a garbage truck and then she presses the button so it can like tear it up and so i'm thinking to myself oh no maybe her friend's gonna like steal the mask and like give it back to her something like that right so anyways she's at her brother's little concert recital thing he's gonna have a little concert for his little bird song he came up with and so as that's going on they see there's a bunch of people outside with signs about ultraviolet and because she forgot to cancel her meet and greet then all of a sudden a mother comes in and this is when her heroics really come into question her a woman's little girl wanted to see uh, ultraviolet and so she just wandered off looking for her so violet and maya they look for her in separate ways and so they're just looking for her and looking for her and they can't find her and she realizes if she had her mask she'll be able to zip around town and look for the little girl right all of a sudden something strange happens as she's sitting on the bench being depressed a bunch of like um newspapers like flies towards her and one hits her in the face and there's a glowing purple light and her mask is kind of like stuck to her face and somehow the mask got undestroyed and came back to her somehow i really hope they keep going more and more into why the mask chose her and on how it's able to survive being ripped up and stuff so of course she puts it on she zips around town. The girl's about to walk into traffic. She saves the little girl. But then the little girl looks at her and all like, you look just like me because they're both Mexican and everything. And that's what I love about this whole representation thing, you know? And that's great that Disney is finally getting back on track with that. And so she goes back to her uncle and tells him, you know, he was right about everything. And, you know, and she's willing to learn however long it takes and stuff. And so he apologizes for like, he's talking about his, he doesn't know why the mask didn't choose her. And then, so, you know, they train and, you know, I love that perseverance. I love that she learned a lesson. I learned that it had a little bit more stakes to it, which it had bigger stakes to it, you know, but I love the fact that they're not making her perfect. And cause she's just a young superhero and everything, or more like a sidekick, but you know, I do wonder where the direction this show is going to go. I hope it goes more edgy and everything. That would be cool. Because even though this is for kids, this could very well just be for like older people as well, you know? Alrighty. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.